Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Beloved, today we read a very important word from the Bible as we read from the New Testament King James Version Bible that is Philippians chapter 3 verse 8. As we read the word it says, I count all things but loss for the excellency of the knowledge of Christ Jesus my Lord. Yes, a mighty word and indeed a true testimony beloved as we are always seeing in our life as we go in the presence of a mighty God and we find the peace which the world cannot give for Jesus Christ is the Prince of Peace beloved yes and we may gain the whole world as the word says what does it profit a man if he gains the whole world world and loses his own soul yes beloved we have to have the knowledge of a living God and the wisdom which he gives. Yes, as we read in Proverbs 23 verse 26, it says, My son, give your heart to me. Give me your heart and let your eyes observe my ways. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Proverbs 6 verse 22, it says, As we sleep, the word will keep us. As we are awake, the word will speak to us. And as we roam, the word will guide us. What is the word? The word is life, the word is spirit. As we read in John 6 verse 63, In the beginning was the word, the word was with God and the word is God, beloved. As we read the mighty word, it speaks to us from John chapter 1 verse 1. And God spake and it was done. As we read in Genesis 1 1, Genesis 46 verse 2 says, God speak and it was done. As he said to Jacob, 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 I will make you a great nation and it has been done. Hallelujah. Israel, yes, he was called Israel, prince with God, yes. As we read in Genesis 32 verse 28, it says, You have wrestled with man and God, and you have prevailed, and your name shall no longer be Jacob, but Israel. Hallelujah. Yes, today we are Israel, we are the prince with God. Yes, beloved. Hallelujah. Yes, the word is saying, God loved us with everlasting love. The words are true as we read in Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes, Whatever you are, go in his presence boldly, beloved. There are so many people, yes, they have won the fame, the richness, everything they have got. But everybody has a soul in their heart and the soul is searching. Yes, the truth, what is the truth? Jesus Christ is the way, the truth and the life. John 14 verse 6, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Yes, the words are true. Yes, as read in John 8 verse 32, beloved. Yes, Jesus Christ is the living waters, John 4.10. He is the light of the world, John 8.12. Yes, beloved. And also, he will not leave us orphans. He will not leave us alone. The words are true. It has been proclaimed as we read in John 14, verse 18. Yes, so my dear sister, my dear brother, wipe away those tears. For God is our salvation. The words are true as we read in Revelation. It speaks to us from 7, verse 10. And Revelation 7 verse 17 is saying he will wipe away our every tear. Yes, and also he will be a shepherd and also he will lead us to the living waters. The Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. The words are true in Psalm 23 verse 1. Many times we do require a lot of things, isn't it? The wisdom, the knowledge, the peace in our family, the joy, the happiness. All these things cannot be purchased with millions of dollars also. Yes. Jesus Christ is blessing you and me with these gifts, with the joy, for the joy of the Lord is my strength. Yes, we have been given the Holy Spirit, which is our guide and which is our helper. And he will carry us, our God will carry us, even in a gray hair and old age. The words are true as we read in Isaiah 46 verse 4. For from the beginning, beloved, he knows the end. Isaiah 46 verse 10. The words are true as we read the mighty word. As for me and my house will serve the Lord. The words are true as we read in Joshua 24 verse 15. What is the blessing of serving God? The word says, we, God will honor us. Yes, the words are true as we read in John 5 verse 45. Yes, beloved, the counsel of the Lord stands forever and his plans to all generation. The words are true as we read in Psalm 33 verse 11. And also, let us fear the Lord. And let us always trust the Lord. Let us trust the Lord at all times. The words are true, beloved. For who taste and see the Lord is good. Blessed is the man who trusts in him. The words are true as we read in Psalm 34, verse 8. I am his witness. I want you also to taste and see the Lord is good. Yes, beloved. The blessings are free. Freely been given for everyone. 
The word says, ask and you shall receive and it shall be given to everyone freely. Yes, there is no fees. As read in Matthew 7 verse 8, take out time forcefully if you have to. Read the word of God, the Bible, the living word, the manna to your soul and also the roadmap of our life. Yes, it is a gift to each one of us. Read the Bible and also pray. Let it go hand in hand. For as you are yet speaking, he will hear. And as you pray, he will answer. The words are true. As a 65 verse 24. And nothing can stop what God has ordained for you, my beloved. Remember this word. Yes, as it says in Isaiah 14 verse 27. Yes, for no divination, no sorcery will work against Jacob. The words are true. As read the mighty word is speaking to you and to me from Numbers 23, 23. And every curse will be turned into a blessing for you and me. As we read in Num Deuteronomy chapter 23, verse 5. Yes, beloved. He has chosen us. The words are true. As we read in Deuteronomy 7, verse 6. Yes. And he's made a special treasure. Yes. The whole earth belongs to him. Still, he has made us the kingdom of priests, the holy nation, and set apart for his name. The words are true. Exodus 19, verse 5. Yes. And he's betrothed us unto himself. The words are true. Yes, beloved. As we read in Hushai and also we read he's called us unto himself. The words are true as we read the mighty word from Exodus 19 verse 4. Yes, and he's faithful to his promise. Exodus 12 25, Hebrews 10 23. He's faithful to his promise. And those who hope in him will not be disappointed. The words are true, beloved. As we read in Isaiah. Yes, 49 verse 23. So come what may, do not quit in life. Do not give up. My dear sister, my dear brother, for you are in this world, God has a purpose. As we read the mighty word, it says, I form light, I create darkness, I bring calamity, I bring prosperity. Yes, he does everything. The word says, as we read in Isaiah 45 verse 7, I am the Lord who does all these things. It is true. Yes, beloved. Let us meditate on his word. Let us meditate on the living word, the Bible. Yes, as you read the Bible, God will speak to you, beloved. Yes, the words are true. He will answer your prayer. He will surely answer your prayer. As we read in Micah 7, 7, it says, I will look to him, I will wait for him, and he will answer my prayer. Yes, for he knows our thoughts. Yes, and his plans of future hope, prosperity, welfare, and peace. Yes, also for you and me, and prosperity also. Yes, and well-being also. As we read the mighty word, Jeremiah 29, verse 11. This is the blessing. This is the prophecy for this year, beloved. So receive the blessings. Yes, come what may. Yes, let us walk in his light. Yes, beloved. For he is the light of the world, John 8, 12. And also he is the door. Whoever enters will find pastures inside, outside. And will be at peace. The words are true, beloved. Yes. So let us go in his presence boldly. Yes. And receive the gifts. For well, the word says, I will restore to you the years the locusts have eaten. For those brothers and sisters who say their past have been in waste, this is a blessing. As we read in Joel 2, 19 to 27, the words are true. Let the weak say, I am strong. Joel 3, verse 10. Yes, beloved, you may gain fame and richness as we read about the Swedish nightingale, Jenny Lynn. Yes, who won great success as an operatic singer. And money poured into her pores. Yet she left the stage while she was singing at her best and never returned to it. What was the reason? She must have missed the money, the fame, the applause, thousands by. She was content to live in privacy. Yes, as we try to understand the word as that she was sitting by the steps of the bathing machine on the sea sand with the Bible on her knee. Yes, and looking out into the glory of a sunset. Yes, she said that when every day was the quiet answer, it made me think less of this, that is the Bible, and nothing at all of that pointing to the sunset. What else could I do? Yes, beloved, the maker of heaven and earth is there with you and me. May I not covet the world's greatness. It will cost me the crown of life. Yes, beloved, we have to get the crown of life. Yes, and that is when we read the word of God, when we pray, when we are in his presence, yes, let us be in his presence continually. For the word says, as we read in Proverbs 6 verse 21, it says, let the word be continually be binded around your heart. Yes, beloved, let us meditate on his word. Yes, and also we will receive abundance of blessings as we read in Psalm 36 verse 8. Yes, and it says in Psalm 121, 
It says, I lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence does my help come from? My help comes from the Lord, who is the maker of heaven and earth. He will not let your foot be moved. Behold, he who keeps his rival will neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is a shade on your right hand. The sun shall not smite you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord will keep you from all evil. He will keep your life. The Lord will keep you going out and coming in from this time forth and forevermore. And remember, beloved, he has every power and authority. As read in Matthew 28, even the evil spirits and demons shudder in the name of Yeshua Masiha. And there are 20,000 chariots for each one of us. As read in Psalm 68, yes, verse 18 and 19 verse says, We praise your name for you bless us. Yes, daily load us with benefits. The words are true. There are mighty angels surrounding you and me. Psalm 91. For the angel of the Lord encampeth around those that fear him, and he delivers them. The words are true. As read in Psalm 34 verse 7. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivers them of them all. The words are true, beloved. As we read the mighty word from Psalm 34, verse 19. And he comes riding on heavens, on the excellency of the clouds. Yes, to help you and me. As we read in Deuteronomy 33, verse 27. And remember, beloved, the victory rests with a mighty God. As we read in Proverbs 21, 30, 31, it says, verses, As the horse is made ready for the day of battle, but the victory is with the Lord. It rests with the Lord. And the battle is the Lord's, as it says in 1 Samuel chapter 17, verse 47. Yes, beloved. And he's already gone ahead of us. And he's already sent us. The words are true. Judges, as we read in 4, 14 and 6, 14. Yes, beloved. So we charged up. Yes. And be encouraged. Yes. Wipe away those tears. And be strong, be courageous, my dear sister, my dear brother, my dear children, my dear youth. Jesus Christ is blessing you with wisdom, for you have your exams ahead. Do not worry, for the word says in James 1 verse 5, If any of you lack wisdom, let him ask God that give it to all men liberally, liberally and abrade it not. James 1 verse 5, I am his witness. I want you also to receive the blessings. Yes, beloved, for it is given freely for each one of us. Yes, as we read in Matthew 7, 8, it says, Ask and you shall receive, and it will be given to everyone freely. Hallelujah. Yes, for he has plans, remember, for us, for future of prosperity. And when we meditate on his word, the blessing is we will have riches and wealth in our house. As read in Psalm 112, verse 3. Let us receive the blessing. Let us fear him and also surrender ourselves in his hands. And also, he's the omnipotent God who reigns, as we read in Revelation 19, verse 6. He is the Alpha and the Omega, Revelation 1, 8. Yes, he is a Yahweh Ire. God will provide, Genesis 22, verse 14. And the word is blessing you and me, from Deuteronomy 7, verse 14 and 15. Yes, thou shalt be blessed above all people, and thou shalt be free of all diseases. Be blessed today, my dear brother, my dear sister. Blessings in your business, blessings in your home, peace at your home, joy at your home. Yes, and also be healed in the name of your Rafeka, my dear sister, my dear brother, my dear children. Yes, be healed right now. Yes, for he's the same yesterday, today, and forever. Hebrews 13, verse 8. Yes, and also we break down every satanic power trying to break all our blessings. We destroy the Satan in the name of Yeshua Masiha. Hallelujah. For he was within us as greater than he was in this world. 1 John 4 12. For our living God is within us. Jesus Christ is within us. Yes, remember it. Yes, so be victorious today and every day, beloved. Arise and shine is the message for you and me. Isaiah 60 verse 1. Do remember it. Yes, and remember there are angels surrounding us. And let us always thank him for his faithfulness at night and loving kindness in the morning. Psalm 92 verse 2. And trust the Lord at all times, Psalm 62 verse 8, at all times, beloved. Yes, come what may, in ha hard days, in sad days, in good days, in bad days. Let us always praise him, for he is our banner, he is our Yeshunisi, as we read in Isaiah 11 verse 10. And God is there, as it says Yahweh Shama. Yes, he is also the Prince of Peace. And God is there, as we read Yahweh Shama. Ezekiel 48 verse 35. Yes, and he is the Prince of Peace. Yes, he will bless us with peace and joy. For the joy of the Lord is my strength, Nehemiah eight ten. And remember, for us to live is Christ and die is gain. Philippians 1, 21. And my God will provide all your needs in the glorious richness of Yeshua Masiha. In the glorious riches of Yeshua Masiha. The words are true. As read in Philippians 4, verse 19. And in all these things we are more than conquerors. Romans 8, verse 37. Yes, beloved. 
for he will never leave us nor forsake us. Remember it, for he has told us to be strong, be courageous. Yes, and he hates timidity. He hates cowardness, beloved. So let us be strong, be courageous. Yes, do not be dismayed, do not be terrified. The word is saying to you and to me. Deuteronomy 31 verse 6, Joshua 1 verse 9. Yes, whatever requests are there, Jesus Christ is answering you right now. Be blessed today and every day, my dear brother, my dear sister. Yes, my dear youth, be blessed in your future aspirations and future what all your expectations are there. Yes, whatever is your willingness to achieve, Jesus Christ is blessing you. Yes, just hear his voice and read the Bible and pray. Jesus Christ will speak to you. He is the God of the living, not the dead. Remember it and all live to him. Luke 20 verse 38. Be blessed today and every day. Hallelujah. Arise and shine. This is the channel, Alfred Rathod and Family USA. This is Dr. Mrs. Alfred James Rathod speaking for the channel. As Jesus Christ has called me to be a prophetess, evangelist and priest, I am here by his grace and mercy. For his grace is sufficient for us and his power is made perfect in weakness. 2 Corinthians 12 verse 9. Yes, a voice for Jesus Christ. Yes. We love you, Jesus, as you have loved us, yes, with everlasting love. Jeremiah 31 verse 3. Yes, be blessed today, my dear brother, my dear sister, and all. As we read in Numbers chapter 6 verse 24. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen.